What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Boosted 615 channel. This is going to be a uh, continuation of the 2017 F-150 Lariat review that I did, as well as a continuation on the five things that I dislike about this 2017 F-150 Lariat. This is going to be five things that I love about this truck. So let's dive right in. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you one of the first things that I love about this truck is these 20 inch kind of snowflake wheels. Um, the owner of this truck, if you've watched the review, I mentioned that he put on a two inch leveling kit and a 275 65 BFG KO2. So it's about a 34 inch tall, 34 inch tall tire. And uh, I think that they, the tire design complements this wheel very well. But overall, I think one, this is one of the best looking wheels that you can get on a truck right now. Besides maybe the platinum wheels, I do like those a lot. Those are the ones that I have on my truck, so I'm a little bit biased, but uh, I love the 20 inch snowflake design. Um, that Ford came out with on this body style, especially when they get cleaned up. I'm about to detail. So when these wheels get cleaned up, they are just absolutely beautiful. Now, another thing that I love about this truck, and yes, you guys will say, well, you said you didn't like it in, when you said your five things you dislike, but I will say that overall, the headlight design of this truck is beautiful. There you see the LED headlight on. And it's a little bit harder to see the amber glow, but that's okay because that's something that I dislike. We're talking about things that I do like. And I do like the overall design of this headlight. I think it complements the look of the truck very well. And I think it's a very nice modern touch that they did with this headlight. I'm a big lighting guy. So another thing that I really like is the taillight design for this truck. The way that they did the uh, outer ring with the turn signal, stop, hazard, brake light in the middle. Uh, that's something that I really like and I love the way it looks. I think it looks very clean and modern. I'm a little bit concerned about light output from this angle at night, um, but overall, I love the design and functionality of these tail lights. Now coming inside, a feature that I absolutely love about this truck is, you guessed it, the full twin panel moonroof. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive and I don't know of another truck in this year and 2015 when they introduced it where you could get a twin panel moonroof. I mean, this is some luxury car stuff here, guys. And this is something that when I, at some point, get a new truck, I don't think that I could possibly order it without. I don't even have a sunroof in my truck right now, but moving forward, this is something that I definitely want. Now for the next one, we'll have to move over to the driver's seat because it is a very small, minimal feature that is actually um, one of my favorite things about this truck, actually. Now we'll have to turn it on to get this to pop up, but if you'll notice, with this being an EcoBoost, you actually get, ooh, sorry about that guys, you actually get a boost gauge. Now, this is something that people asked for in the 2014 to 2011, technically EcoBoost trucks. People asked, you know, why didn't they put a boost gauge in these trucks? And I don't know if Ford necessarily listened to that, but in this truck, in this generation, when you get the full kind of digital display here, you do get a boost gauge there. And that is something that I think is very cool. Now, you'll see while we're in park, it's not kicking into boost, so you don't see it but we'll go ahead and put it in drive here. And you'll notice. There we go. You see it very minimally moving, probably five pounds of boost or so. That was a pretty light throttle, so maybe it could go up pretty like closer to that, but I was showing about five pounds of boost um, when I gave it that little gas there. We'll go ahead and do it again here. Man, guys, this this second generation 3.5 is quick, let me tell you. Now this truck has 3.55 gears. I know we're getting a little bit off track here. This truck has 3.55 gears. So with the bigger tires, it may not handle it quite as well. My truck has 3.73s, and I can tell you that it handles the bigger tires quite well, but I lost a significant amount of gas mileage because of those larger tow gears. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we ran through a quick five things that I like and go check out my five things that I dislike. Go check out my full review as well as some of my other videos. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach. So please subscribe. 
you know, I'm trying to grow the channel. We're going to do a lot of cool car things, a lot of outdoor things. Um, so anyways, oh, also subscribe to me on Instagram, I'm trying to grow the Instagram page as well. That's how you guys can keep up with what I'm doing. As well as when I post new videos, you'll see it there first that a new video went live. Uh, so please, I encourage you to follow me on Instagram at boosted615. It's the same as the YouTube channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, one bonus thing that I love about this truck, just because in my short time, I keep finding things that I love about it. But this one has the power easy open tailgate. I mean, how cool is that, guys? This is a pickup truck. Now, it doesn't have the up like the new Chevy or new Chevy and GMC will, but this thing, even from the key fob, you see, I'll uh, double hit the key fob. Look at that, guys. I mean, that's just awesome.